word webisode um, is somewhat loaded and somewhat fraught. It's a term that came up quite colloquially to describe, um, generally speaking, short form online uh, and to a large degree episodic content delivered online, with its main trait being less so much uh, the fact that it was online, more that there wasn't, more conceptually, that there was no gatekeeper, that it really was a direct uh, broadcast um, distribution means for directly from creator to audience. Now from that, that simple idea of the webisode and people, you, a step up from user generated content comes a slightly more complex idea of web TV or the web series. And there's a number of terms used to describe this idea. Essentially we're talking about episodic, um, episodic storytelling online. And that's a broad open category in itself and it can range in length and genre and form just like, just like television. at the more successful uh, web series and webisodes projects that are out there and see a bias towards comedy and short form. But to suggest that that's the only kind of content people consume online is, is bogus and, and uh, to suggest that that's where it's going is, is to misunderstand how the internet works. So we can look at the major, um, there's two examples I think in the online carriers of web series that give some indication of where we're going and what links and, and genres we're looking at. So if we look at YouTube, for example, right now they're running about as far away from user-generated content as they can get, as fast as they can get. They see that there's no future in cats that look like Hitler and he's a dog chasing a frisbee. So they're all very much now all about commissioning original content and, and high quality content. And they've even gone so far as to partner with film schools around the world to train their own filmmakers. So you can see them putting a big gear shift in the way they engage with the kind of content, kind of content that they carry. The other big player in this space is Blip TV, which is very interesting. They set up, um, it's first seemingly a little bit like YouTube to be a place to, to host user-generated content, but very quickly became about series, um, fiction and documentary and television style reality shows. Um, current sort of uh, commentary from the, from the founders of Blip TV and the CEO is that they're looking at 15 minutes as, a, as became quickly becoming an average length and, and are happily seeing episodes up to 20 and 30 minutes. So I think any perception that webisodes are short or have to be funny is, is quite misguided and very, and very much looking back at where it's come from, not where it's going. Increasingly as we see a, a converged world where the distance between what we traditionally think of as television, what we consider to be online being very much blurred. When my PlayStation 3 can watch ABC iView and Yahoo 7 and also YouTube and Blit TV, we have, a, we have a strange point of convergence where, where um, television is a very flexible thing. So when we talk about IP TV, we really are talking about web series, and that's really just a step away from webisodes. So the word webisode has a traditional legacy in short form comedy, but to suggest that's where web TV is at the moment is, is simply not the case.